It's a brand new year for Holmes Film, and it must be a brand new year for Behind the Grooves as well. All of the other old episodes have been removed, or will be removed, due to the fact that they are low quality, or showing the face of Peter Holmes due to safety reasons. So for right now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the brand spankin' new edition of our legendary classic record review series, Behind the Grooves, in better quality and better understanding. Behind the Hey guys, and welcome back to Behind the Grooves, where I, Peter Holmes, the vinyl kid of Florida, takes you to the other side of the record, Behind the Grooves. Last time we met, we were reviewing Simon and Garfunkel's bookends, an original stereo pressing from 1968, but today we're reviewing a different genre, different artist, different era. It's Billy Joel's Glass Houses on an original 1980s Columbia Records stereo pressing. The cover is a little bit in rough condition. And it feels more uh, cardboardy and more papery than all the other Billy Joel albums do, to be completely honest. I don't have some of them, but I know that this one is the most cardboardy one that I've got that's not shiny, because most of his albums I have are shiny, and they're all uh, originals. This here is probably the second album you should get. Second or third album by Billy Joel you should get if you're into him, because this is incredible. He's got an incredible line here. And the cover design is incredible, so. Here on the first side, you've got him throwing a rock at a glass house. Rock, stone, whatever. Then, you know, you hear the glass shattering sound. And that's him on that side. On the other side, so. You could probably play the song You May Be Right by Billy Joel. And you hear the glass shattering. Start that on this side, and then as the glass breaks, you flip it. And then as the song begins, you look at that. Maybe, like, make Billy Joel mouth it. But anyway. I'm going to read you the track listing now. Side one has, You may be right. Sometimes a fantasy. Don't ask me why. It's still rock and roll to me, which is my personal favorite Billy Joel song ever. And all for Lena. Side two has, I don't want to be alone. Sleeping with the television on. Get a tight toy or you are the one. Close to the borderline and through the long night. Now let's take a look at the inside. Uh, regular sleeve as always with uh, the band and the lyrics on this side. I'm just gonna put this here. All right, so here is your, it's got the family production of course. Here is your side one and your side two. It's one of those where you have to flip them, and I don't really like that as much. Okay, so there you have it. Billy Joel's Glass Houses, an original 1980s stereo pressing on Columbia Records. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this. It means the world to me that you take a few minutes out of your day to watch a guy like me review an excellent, excellent album like this. Please subscribe for more Behind the Grooves. I try to release a new episode every few days or so. I know I just said episode, but I'm going to keep going. We are on renewal break, however, because of safety reasons for the last seasons we've done. So we are currently reshooting and reissuing all the episodes that we've done. This was from season one, so we're still early. This is Peter Scott Holmes, the Vinyl Kid of Florida, signing out with Peace and Love and Original Billy Joel Glasshouses 1980 Stereo Columbia Records Pressing. See you later.